Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at the Gaylor Palms Resort here again. Uh, it's just a few miles outside of the Walt Disney World Resort. But what we're going to do in today's video is I'm going to take you to my computer and I'm going to walk you through step by step and show you what Sam did uh, again to boost his income from $1,500 a week to $6,000 his very first week by using this method to provide more value than what any of his competitors were able to do. So let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started here, uh, let me first of all introduce you to Sam Chand, and he's one of our clients here that's using this system. And he ended the year of 2013 in the bottom 80% of his industry. Now, of course, a lot of you are in all different sorts of industries. The industry really doesn't matter. What really matters is the marketing strategy that you're going to be using here. But in the year of 2013, like I said, he ended up in the bottom 80% of his industry, and he sells life insurance. Now, let me hear a big, oh, poor Sam. <laughs> now, you don't need to, to feel sorry for him uh, too much because uh, that was in 2013 who used our system, worked really hard at it, he was willing to help himself, and he ended up in 2014 in the top 80% of his industry. And he started working with us in about September of 2014. In just those three, four months, he was able to end up in the top 8% of his industry. So again, how do you how do you go from the bottom 80% of his your industry to the top 8% of your industry. How do you do that? Well, we're going to share with that with you as we continue on here. Now, Sam had never achieved, been, been ranked on the leaderboards before up until this point. And uh, as you can see here, he was ranked the number 16th highest income earner for the week. And if that's a little small, maybe this one is a little bit bigger. Maybe you might be able to see that. As you can see, uh, Samson uh, uh, C from New Jersey and he was ranked as the number 16th income earner for that in particular week. Now there's been other weeks where he was ranked as the number two income earner for the week as well, earning almost $10,000 in, in sales volume. So uh, that's, that's, per, that's pretty good, especially when you go from the bottom 80% of your industry. And all the difference was, the only thing that he did is he started using what we're doing here. Instead of pay, buying lead spending, you know, 15 to, to, to thirty dollars buying a lead he's now started using these this to generate leads and for every uh, referral or every uh, lead that he generated he was generated anywhere from about five to six referrals from every some every single one of his leads so just imagine if you were able to do that for your business now uh, by using this individual strategy here Sam was able to achieve a six-figure income a very strong six-figure income now, there's other businesses that we've worked with that use this type of a, a marketing plan uh, in combination with another marketing plan or another business plan that we do have, have for you as part of this Unfair Advantage Marketing System version 2.0 where they were able to achieve a million dollars a year. So it really just depends on what type of income that you'd like to achieve and what type of business practices that you'd like to use. But if you're just perfecting everything. If you're just getting started, you might want to just stick with this one individually at first. So what he does is, is like I said, um, his very first week he used this system, he was able to jump from an average of about $1,500 a week to $6,000 his very first week. He also ended up on the leaderboards and achieved as high of a level as the number two income earner for that in particular week. And he, he instead of paying $15 to $30 per lead, he was, he was generating a lot of referrals. Okay, so that's what makes this work. So uh, every single lead that he generated, he generated five or six referrals from each one of them. So let's talk about some of the scripts that we have available for you. So these scripts are designed to use in conjunction with the different products that we have available for you. The, the restaurant gift cards, the vacation vouchers, you know all these these different things but really what what Sam focused on is the vacation uh, the vacation vouchers that we have available for you and instead of paying the full price um, what you do is you get them at the wholesale price and that's what that allows you to do by being part of this system plus we're also able to coach you and work with you and show you how our clients have been able to do this so let's kind of look at this and later on um, we'll add a, 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 a 
a webinar or some sort of a, a training program with Sam Chan. So he'll go more in depth into this and actually showing you how he does this. So the first script, so if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll see some of these scripts. And the first script is asking for referrals. So uh, chances are you're an already established business and you do have at least some already existing customers. So how are you going to ask for referrals from those customers? So here's the script. Now here, before we go ahead and get started with the script though, um, Sam did come up with some little guidelines. Now like I said, this script is really designed for insurance, for particularly uh, uh, life insurance and final expenses, but there's, you can use this, you can use the fundamentals, you can use the principles in any business that you have. You know, there's so many business strategies out there and so many times people just look at the tactic as opposed to what are the business principles that you can take away that you can apply into your business. So let's look at some of those things. So first of all, before we start going through the script though, and again you'll see the script down below directly underneath this video. So um, he goes ahead and he meets these people at their homes on an individual basis. So this is some of the suggestions that he makes. So when asking for referrals, you lean forward and have a pen in hand and, and you're ready to write any referrals down, okay? And then this is what you tell the prospect or the, the people that you're, you're talking with, people that you're visiting with. Thank you, thank you for, and you might have to practice this a number of times just to get familiar with it. You don't have to memorize it word for word, but just have it be familiar with, uh, be familiar with it enough that way you can know exactly what you're talking about, okay? So thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity to help your family or to help your family achieve X, Y, Z as a way to say thank you uh, we will allow you to give away up to five gift cards to your friends and family. Who do you want to start with first, friends or family? Then they'll tell you. And then if they have any tr trouble coming up with anybody, you can uh, use these little memory joggers that I'm going to show you on the next slide. So again, just real quickly, thank you for giving me an opportunity to work with your family. As a way to say thank you, uh, we want to allow you to be able to give five gift cards to your friends and family. Which would you prefer, your friends or your family? Who would you like to start with? Pretty simple, pretty basic. And then, uh, if, like I said, if they do have some problems coming up with some names, uh, you can ask them, who do you know that's recently got married? Do you know anybody that's got medications? Now, these are primarily for the, in, the life insurance industry and final expense insurance. Look at your industry. What type of key questions would you like to, would you need to ask uh, the, the, the leads and the clients that you already have in order to generate some referrals from them. You know, so just kind of brainstorm with those and come up, up with some names. Now, uh, I am recording this. I don't know if you hear it. I do have my window open and it is thundering outside. This is summertime in Florida, so it does ring quite, uh, quite often here. Um, usually only for about 10 or 15 minutes, but it does ring uh, quite often here. So if you hear any noise in the background, it is the thunder. So let's continue on to the next slide. Now, here's some more. Um, guidance that, that that Sam has field tested when, when he went out and met with some of these clients. So he says when getting the names and the numbers, always get the age and the address of the person if possible. So again, those are some key questions that are going to be important because Sam sells life insurance. And depending on what you sell, that might not be important for you, but there might be other factors that may be important for you. Now, if they do not have the address, find out the city or the general vicinity of it. Um, you can also get their numbers. And the reason for, uh, again, for in the case of Sam, and the reason that he asked for the age is because that tells him whether he needs to sell them final expense insurance or do the final expense presentation or not, or do something else. Now, if they are over 50, he says that he's going to go through the final express presentation in their home. If they're under, under that age, those, he'll do a life insurance policy or a mortgage protection presentation, depending on if they have a home or not. And like I said, you want to use this information, uh, come up with key questions, ask them the questions that would really um, clarify or find your ideal and perfect prospect. Like I said, this is just for Sam, but what would you, what type of questions, key questions would you need to ask your your clients 
and the referrals that you're going to be getting. What type of key questions would you need to ask? Now let's look at this. Now let's start going through the actual script now. So like I mentioned, this the first script is when calling on referrals. So if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll be able to find the scripts that we're going to be going through here. So when calling on referrals. Now for the most part, you're not going to really have to change anything here. Um, there are going to be some key things that you might need to change when it comes down to the insurance part of it. But um, this part, this script, you don't really need to change too much of it. As you can see here on the slide in front of you, hello, Mr. Prospect. My name is, and whatever your name is, I was referred to you by Bob Smith. Recently, I did some. Now, in the case of Sam, he does some uh, financial planning with them. Uh, you're, you're a carpet cleaner. You might say, I recently cleaned their carpets. Um, if you're a, a dentist, I just recently cleaned their teeth. If you're, you know, just again, depending on what type of business that you're in or what type of industry that you're in, you're going to say different things. Okay, let's continue on with the script. So recently I did some and then fill in the blanks with John Smith. And, and John Smith uh, uh, was given the opportunity to give away a $25 gift certificate to no more than five people that he or she wants. And then the referral. So then John Smith chose you as one of those people. And that makes those people feel really proud. So let's go through this again real quickly. Hi, uh, hi. Uh, so uh, we're going to use the example that this is Bob Smith. Hi, Bob Smith. My name is Chris Brown. I was referred to you by, by uh, John Smith. Uh, I recently did some planning with, with John Smith, and John Smith was given the opportunity to give away a 25 gift certificate to no more than five people that he or she wants. And uh, Joan Smith, uh, uh, Joe Smith chose you as one of those people. Makes them feel proud. Well, let's move on to the next slide. It's a it's a, and then this is what you're going to continue on, on on this on this call. It's a twenty-five dollar gift certificate, redeemable at over eighteen thousand restaurants in the country. Um, now that number is over twenty thousand, so that slide is a little bit outdated. Um, it also includes a concierge service and access to a wholesale travel agency. This is all compliments of the referral to you. Are you in the now, this is again going to apply if you're going to go visit these people or in a local area. Are you in the, the blank area? Okay, so I live in Celebration, Florida. So I might say, are you in the Celebration, Florida area? Okay, great. I'll, I'm scheduled to be in Celebration tomorrow and the following day. I want to drop by, drop, I want to drop your gift certificate off and go over the details, which which one of these days will work for you okay so that's basically it that's this that's uh and then uh, that's the second that's the 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 uh, calling on your referrals presentations now if because people are skeptical and they're like hey what's the catch so somebody might say what are you selling and uh, again this depends on what type of industry that you're in um, but this is pretty much the guidelines that that sam has given us we help people do XYZ. What do you help people do? Don't say what your product is, but what is the results that your product achieves? So in the case of Sam, he doesn't say, I sell life insurance. I sell, you know, <laughs> he doesn't say that. I provide more financial security and, and stability. I help improve, let's say that you clean carpets as an example. I improve the health of the of the home and the health of those living in the home. That would be an example. So don't talk about what it is that you do. Talk about what does your product provide? What what does your product do for them? What is the results that they're going to get out of this? So if they ask, uh, what are you selling? We help people, blah, 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 and fill in the blank. There is no obligation. You will not be required to purchase anything. The gift certificate is yours as soon as we meet. When we meet, we'll talk talk on how we can help people, and it will take approximately 10 minutes. Now, it might take less for you, or it might take a little bit more, just depending on what type of industry and, and the type of products and services that you have. Just, again, like I mentioned, just cater this script to the type of business that you run. 
Now, when you're calling on the referrals, or let's say when we're, you're calling on the neighbors. So here's another strategy that, that Sam came up with. Uh, he calls it the triangle method. And before we go through the script, let me kind of explain this to you. So this is a local homeowner's neighborhood, right? So the, the house in orange or that yellowish orange is your client. And, uh, uh, and this, does, again, is not going to matter what type of industry that you're in. This is going to apply to every type of industry that, that, that we're, we're all in. And I've seen a different, um, a different way than what Sam has done this. Um, in another video, we'll show you how to do this with direct mail, but this is what Sam does. So the house in, in, in that yellowish orange is his client. And so what he does is he goes to the, the door and the, the house to the left, and then he goes to the house on the right, and then he goes to the house across the street, and then he goes to across the street on the house to the left, and he goes across the street and does the house on the right. So that's a way to expand his market without doing any more marketing. These, all these people know each other. So even though that this person may have not have referred him that business, he can still leverage that relationship because generally the people in within the a few doors know each other. Especially if you're working, in, if you're you have a business in a small town. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and look at through the, the the script and let's look at how he does this. So he goes, "Hello, my name is Sam, and I was just across the street with your neighbor. I just finished, and if you know the neighbor's name, you want to mention what the your, the neighbor's name is. Hello, my name is Chris, or my name in his case, my name is Sam. I was just across the street with your neighbor Bob Smith, and I just finished helping your neighbor do some X Y Z." Again, talk about what your pro what your product, what the what your product, the results that people get from your, your product. The reason I'm stopping by is because I'm between some appointments and my company is having promotion. We are giving away twenty-five a $25 gift card with no obligation to local residents. Local what if you want to fill in the blanks with anything you can, you don't need to. We also help people, and again, like I said, talk about the results of what your products do for people. I have the info, and it will take it will take just a few minutes to go over the info, and the twenty-five dollar gift card is yours with no obligation, and that's what he does. Now, one of the other things that Sam did is he hired a couple of people to go ahead and do some door knocking. He's at the appointment and he just called on people to go ahead and do some door knocking and get some leads and just by using this simple presentation that you see in front of you. That's all he used. And uh, they got appointments for him and they there was already a relationship that was started because of his guys. And so he was able to get more appointments done faster because of hiring these these extra couple guys so that's one of the things that he was able to do as well if you want to do that or not or if you have the funds to do it that's completely up to you you might need to scale it up so uh, make some money using this result and then later on you can you can go ahead and hire some people to do that then okay now if they have an objection uh, depending again what the industry is I already have insurance let's say as an example um, Again, what you would do though is you would just put in uh, whatever type of products and services that you provide in the rebuttal. That's great. Can I ask you a question? Are you, you know, so in the, his example, he used, used, are you on a fixed income? Will that apply to, you, to your industry? Does your products and services save people money? Chances are, in some roundabout way, a lot of the businesses that we have does in one way or another save people money or we can find a way that it saves people money. Yes, and then obviously if you do ask them that question, question yes I am, is saving them money important to you? Sure, sure it is. Then, then you can kind of use what, what Sam has uh, outlined for you. Uh, my job is to save he says seniors money but to save local residents money and you can come up with a use the outline that Sam used just cater it to your own uh, business and the type of products and services that you have 
you may be entitled to a bit additional benefits. Would you like to find out if you qualify for those additional benefits at no additional cost? So, you know, like I said, all of that stuff will apply to any type of industry or business that you're in. Um, if you even have some questions, if you'd like us to help you in that regard, to, to come up with, with what you would say on, uh, if somebody asks you a question like that, or help uh, if you would like us to, to look at your products and, and find how your products are able to save people money, carpet cleaning easily saves people an average about $2,000 a year. You might not know how that happens. You might know how that works too. Um, granite countertops. We were. I showed. A, uh, I had a guy that sold granite countertops, and we were show, We were able to show his clients how having a granite countertop will save them money from their health expenses. Who knew? You know, there's just different things that we can do. Um, and there, there's in sales. There's only four. There's really only four sales presentations. And there is what you call, without getting all into it right now, there's what you call as the four basic human needs. And these are the motivating factors. Don't sell the product. Sell one of those four basic human needs, which is uh, number one, which is the, the survival. How does your product help a person in, increase their chance of survival? And that would be like health. Um, does your product and service uh, help people in their health and to live longer? If it does, that hits the survival key. Um, does your product help help people to be able to provide a living for them and their loved ones? That's what saving money does. Um, does your product feel the ego? Now, a car or shoes for women or um, you know, I, um, Apple products, those aren't like like a, a shoe is not to get from one place to another it's a status symbol a car is not to get to one place or another it's a status symbol uh, an Apple iPad or an iMac or an iPhone is not a technical device it is an accessory it is it, 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 it caters on our feeling of self-importance so that goes on to the ego um, then the last one which is uh, sex and the romantic relationships. How does your products enhance the uh, help in a romantic relationship of somehow? If you don't know how that is, like I said, we could help you out with that. So you can get in contact with us and ask us any questions. Now, you get into the home, you're now going to do your presentation or you're doing this on the phone, however it is that you do this. You're not going to do your presentation. So once you give them the your, your gift card, you want to talk with them and just really get to know them. Get to know them as people. And you're going to lead from there. Now, I didn't put this on the slide, um, but a really good question to ask them is what is called as the form method. You want to ask them about their family, about their occupation, about their recreation. And once you find out those three things, you will find out what their motivation is. And that gets that builds rapport and just shows that you're interested in them. You're not just interested trying to sell them a product. You're really interested in them. And that's why sales is difficult in the first place where people say that it's difficult. It's not that it's difficult. It's just that being a selfish salesperson is difficult. Being interested in the other person and being uh, totally you know into that other person, then sales and marketing is very, very easy. So once you get to that point, now what you want to do is is you want to have a leading question so you're gave them the gift card um, you now want to transition from this conversation that you're having into how you can help them with their product your products and services so you want to ask them some questions about their problems and a question that your products and services will lead will provide a solution to so let's say that you sell carpet cleaning how many times how many times a year do you get sick uh, you know how much does that cost you um, don't you hate it when you just get sick oh yeah 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 and feed into that and then what you want to do is you want to show them how your products and services will provide a solution to their problems very simple ask them a question what's the problem so uh, again just ask them some questions about some of their problems and show them how 
your products and services will provide a solution to their problems. So that's it. That's the end of the presentation. Um, that's how we do this. This is how we use these, these gift cards and these tools that we've provided you here as part of this unfair advantage marketing system um, to be able to increase more sales. And again, in the case of Sam, what he did is he's generating and he cuts himself off at five, six referrals. He doesn't even want any more than that. Of course, if you you could even get more referrals from a person if you wanted to. So there's, there's first of all, there's that. And then um, there's the reciprocity thing. You're doing them a favor, so they'll be more, uh, they'll be wanting to pay back the favor to you through reciprocity. And the way that they'll do that is buy more of your products and services. Um, but if you do have any questions about this, uh, now that you are a part of this system, feel free to get in contact with us. We'll, we'll try to help answer those questions the best that we can. Uh, but don't just stop here. Use, this is just one business plan. Now this one business plan uh, will provide you a six figure income, but if you want to get even better results, use some of the other strategies that we have available or the other business plans that we have available for you as part of the system. Okay, but uh, take care everyone. Have a great day. I'm glad I could help you and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.